Kabanari. Eh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Thank you very much, uh, everybody. We want to, this morning, we are yet having another function to consolidate uh, the Hustler Nation preparedness for the August 9, 2022 elections. As everybody is aware, we are gearing up for our nomination process. Uh, the National Election Board is seized with this matter. There are preparations underway to carry out nominations across the country, as has been announced by the QDA National Elections Board. The nominations will be on the 14th of um, uh, April. And I want to take this opportunity to wish all the candidates well and may the best man or woman win. Um, this morning, uh, we have uh, our members, led by uh, our governor for Kirinyaga, Governor Anwai Guru. We have the members who are running for the Senate seat and for the Kirinyaga Central seat here. Um, party processes have been deployed and they have agreed voluntarily um, to enter into consensus so that we can build a much more uh, strong UDA in uh, Kirinyaga. And this morning I am pleased to announce that um, the two candidates who are running for senator, uh, Mr. Murango or Honorable Murango and uh, Mushiri Njeru, We've had consultations with them as a party and uh, graciously Mushiri Munene. Munene, sorry, 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 I, I mixed up the names. <laughs> uh, the two gentlemen who are running for the Senate seat, Honorable Murango and Honorable Munene Njiru, have agreed through the party processes uh, Munen and Jeru will now support the candidature of Honorable Murango. Uh, this is out of the consideration that uh, both Munen and Jeru and Governor Waiguru come from the same village. And in terms of balancing the county, uh, they have taken that into consideration, and Munen and Jeru has graciously accepted to um, delay his candidature to a future date and support the party and the uh, and Honorable Murango. And I have also undertaken that I am going to um, uh, put him in our presidential campaign team to work for the party. He has been working for the party for the last almost uh, two years. He has made a huge contribution to UDA, not just in Kirinyaga, but nationally. He's been a member of our various uh, teams, and I want to thank uh, Mushirin Jeru for making, uh, Munen and Jeru for making the consideration to support uh, uh, Honorable Murango and to also seed ground for Governor Aiguru to run for governor uh, so that we can balance the county in terms of the county seats. It is a constitutional provision that every uh, positioning we make must take into consideration regional balance and all the other constitutional uh, provisions. So again, a very big thank you to Munen and Jeru for the gracious act of uh, delaying his candidature to a future date. I am confident that uh, Munen and Jeru has great potential going into the future and I will be very happy to work with him in the presidential campaign going to August. In the same vein, um, Mushiri uh, Njeru has also agreed under the same arrangement 
to support uh, the Honorable Gitari for the Kirinyaga Central seat. Uh, the Honorable Mushiri Njeru is a fine young man. He's been part of our party uh, activities the last uh, two and a half years. He has provided immense contribution to the popularity of, the, of our party in Kirinyaga and nationally a young man who has been part of our youth team and he has graciously again accepted uh, to delay his candidature to a future date. He will participate in the other party act activities going into August. Again, I want to thank him for the consideration he has made so that we can build a team in Kirinyaga that will work on the win for our party in Kirinyaga in the August 9th uh, general election. I also want to thank Governor Anwai Guru for providing the necessary leadership so that we can build our team in Kirinyaga County and all the staff of our party headquarters, the National Election Board, the party secretariat, for making it possible for us to um, provide space for consensus so that we can build a strong party going into the future. Uh, again, let me conclude by saying that the party is ready, both for the nominations on the 14th of uh, April, which is just uh, 13 days from today. The party is also gearing itself and we are getting ready for the general elections on the 9th of August with all our partners in the Kenya Kwanzaa team. Um, yesterday there was an incident in Wazengishu County where the party leader of our opposing party uh, met was, was uh, some v violence was actually meted on uh, on the Honorable Rai Laudinga. Let me state categorically that uh, the United Democratic Alliance and all our Kenya Kwanzaa partners are believers in a peaceful, progressive Kenya. We are committed to a peaceful nomination exercise and a peaceful election in August 9, 2022. We have given very clear instructions to our members, which I reiterate today, that all members of UDA and our Kenya Kwanzaa uh, Alliance must never engage in any acts of violence Violence is retrogressive, primitive, and as I said, tears down our democracy. I have instructed the party to work with the police so that we can get to the root of what happened yesterday in Eldoret. And if any of our party candidates were involved we are going to take disciplinary action against any candidate who may have been involved in the violence that was meted out against the Honorable Rai Laudinga. We are firm believers in a democratic society where every Kenyan politician, leader or candidate must be given the space and the opportunity to sell their ideas. Our contest is about ideas that will move Kenya into the future. And every candidate must be given that opportunity. Our competitors must be given that opportunity the same way we want to have that opportunity. And therefore, I have issued instructions to the party that if any of our candidates was involved in that exercise, we did take the position that any candidate who engages themselves in violence, and especially violence against women, will be disqualified. So 
I want to reiterate again to all our members across the country, all our candidates across the country, that violence is a no-go zone, that violence cannot be part of the modus operandi of the UDA or our Kenya Kwanzaa uh, coalition partners. We are firm in this belief because we believe that if the next elections is canvassed around ideas, around um, uh, an agenda for our country, and around, around clarity of vision for our country, all of us as Kenyans will be the better as a, as a people, as a nation, and as a country. So thank you very much. Uh, let me take this opportunity to ask uh, uh, the two gentlemen. Njiru, <laughs> say something. It is, uh, has been a tremendous, tremendous privilege to have traversed the entirety of Karinaga County, all five, five sub counties, all 20 wards, seeking support for my senatorial bid. Um, I have a great vision for my county. I believe that we can do so much more, and I believe that the Hustler Nation narrative is the transformative economic agenda this country so desperately needs. I, continue, I will continue my commitment to my party leader, His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto, the incoming fifth president of this country. I will continue my commitment to Her Excellency, uh, my governor, and Mombi Waigoro. I believe this is a winning team. This is a team that can serve Kenya diligently and um, transform this nation from where we are today. I, I, my heart goes out to my fellow youth. Uh, as a 30-year-old uh, young man myself, uh, I believe that the youth need to be stakeholders in the leadership of this nation. We cannot sit idly by and continue uh, to watch as um, unemployment soars, as the leadership of this nation continues to disappoint uh, and not come up with solutions. We want to focus on the bottom of the pyramid in this nation. Tutafute kazi ya vijana, not kazi ya waze. That is very much what we believe. And I will, until the August 9th and beyond, work tirelessly for the United Democratic Alliance, the incoming government of the Republic of Kenya. I thank you, Your Excellency, thank Dr. You, Dr. Munene. Ruto. Thank you, Munene. Mashiri? Yes, okay. Mine first is to, is to affirm my commitment to the party. And, uh, and, and is to assure that uh, we are going to push uh, this nation, this nation until it reaches every corner, every corner of this country, and make sure that uh, the UDA, the UDA will be the, the party which will be forming the government. And from Kirinyaga, uh, and, and from Kirinyaga, we'll be going to Kirinyaga again, and we are going to push the message and make sure the deputy president will become the fifth, and uh, our governor, our Ebo governor, he will be, she'll be able to retain the seat. Anyway. I don't have much to Thank say. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mushiri. Uh, anybody else want to say something? No. Okay. Let me uh, just say one more thing. That uh, even as we work as a party to uh, ensure that we have uh, violence, uh, an election free of violence, I also take this opportunity to apologize to the Honorable Raila Odinga for what happened to him yesterday. It was really unfortunate. And uh, I hope those who engaged in this exercise regret what they did. And as I have said, we will roll out the party structures to work with the security agencies so that we can get to the root of this uh, act, which is most unfortunate. And we will demonstrate our commitment to an election that is peaceful by making sure that we take the necessary steps to ensure that all our members, all our candidates, and our entire party engages in this election on the basis of ideas and not any acts that are uh, as unfortunate as we saw yesterday. So thank you very much. Asanteni. Okay, good people. Here in Missouri, Sana. Maybe we can finish with the Kenya. We can go to the Kenya. We can go to the Kenya. We can go to the Kenya.